We just mobilized for the response of Hurricane Ian down here at Fort Myers, uh, Florida. The neighborhood we're in right now has about two feet of water in about every single house. Anything that the water touches essentially needs to be removed. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, my name is Andrew Danilak. I'm the owner of Spalding Decon of New Jersey. Uh, we just mobilized for the response of Hurricane Ian down here at Fort Myers, uh, Florida. From what we've seen so far, it's uh, pretty messed up down here. It's a little bit more than what we were expecting. The neighborhood we're in right now has about two feet of water in about every single house. Um, so what we're doing, uh, we're just kind of helping the families, making them feel comfortable about the situation coming in, providing estimates, quotes, and then gutting the interior of the homes, essentially. This is the first house we started working on. It's the main floor is around 3,000 square feet. What you guys are seeing is the garage. We actually had about four feet of water here. This is the water line. Uh, for here in the garage, so everything in here was completely destroyed. In here, you'll see that we're just ripping up floor, removing all the doors, removing the sheetrock. Uh, the water line was about here inside of the house, a um, little less than two feet, and we're making about a four foot flood cut around the entire house. Upstairs, fortunately, was unaffected. Um, there was no broken windows you know roof wasn't leaking so we don't even have to go upstairs at all but as you can see this place is massive and it's going to take days to dry this place out um, if you want to loop back around here you can see we're starting the demo on the kitchen we got to save all of these countertops i think this uh this poor homeowner just spent around 140k on this kitchen less than a year ago so we're saving as much as we can and uh demoing the rest once we get this place cleaned up, remove the rest of the, uh, the walls, flood cuts, flooring, we are going to have the vacuum, fog, spray antimicrobial, and then we're going to prep the equipment for the dry out portion.
the master bedroom, you can see on these sliding glass doors how high the water line actually came. And you can kind of see it here on the uh, pool fence. So well above the line of the pool. And uh, again, that's class three water, sewage, flood water. It's, uh, it's some pretty nasty stuff. You can smell it already. This is uh, a massive house, a uh, huge undertaking. Um, we've got about 10 guys, to 10 to 15 man crew with two project managers on each job site. Um, that whole wing right here was the master. Um, like I said, it's about 3,000 square feet. Coming out of this huge living room, you've got another massive living room here, uh, kitchen, and every single room requires just as much as tension. Um, so every little detail needs to be addressed. Um, bathrooms here. This, this area goes back to another uh, gym area, another bathroom, and then we've got two massive uh, garages. So this project's taking about probably four days in demolition, like I said, with about a 10-man crew each day. And then that is followed by a three-day dry-out process. What you guys are actually seeing is pretty much day two, so we're just getting started on this project. It may look like a mess, and that's because it is. Um, we still have two more days of cleaning and demo before we even start the drying process. We'll show you guys kind of a, a finished project here. The entire town, pretty much county, is still without power, so we have to have a power source to power our fans and dehumidifiers. So here we've got our generator, um, and then we'll take you inside real quick, show you what's going on. So a very typical four foot uh, flood cut route, demo all the bathroom, same thing. Um, power supply line comes in here, this drop the box, and then we kind of just flicker out uh, power. We got about 40 ish uh, fans in here, uh, several deep views because of the outside. The community outside is outrageous. Um, we've also got exterior walls that are cinder blocks, which take a hell of a lot more power. Uh, to dry out, which is thicker, retains a lot more moisture, so it takes a lot more equipment to get this dry. So at the end of the day, it's about 5.30 right now. Um, we're just prepping all of the properties for tomorrow. So getting generators in the right spots, uh, making sure we have you know extension cords, all the shop vacs, power washers, everything that we need. And then if you come over here, we're kind of just resetting, doing some uh, accountability for our equipment, cleaning the vans, and just getting ready for tomorrow.
So we just uh, finishing up here. Uh, we're actually backing in the generator right now. If you want to see 32, um, we're gonna run power into the house. Get that garage door closed. Very power washed all the garage floors, all the walls in here. Cleaned, sanded down the floors in here. A little bit different, I think, from what you guys have seen from the original walkthrough. It was a little chaotic when you guys were coming through right now or uh, yesterday. But as you can see, we pretty much just cleaned everything up, took all the nails off the two by fours, swept everything, cleaned everything with floor cleaner, antimicrobial, sanitizing, ripped out all the rest of the bathrooms and got the rest of the floor to look pretty good. So at this point, we're just getting more equipment. You can see all the dehues are kind of daisy chained uh, together right now, or the air movers. We're still going to drop a few more uh, dehumidifiers, but you guys can look around. There are a lot of fans. I think in this house, we'll probably have around 80 on the first floor, or about 70 on the first floor alone, and a lot of dehues. Uh, so this was the kitchen. Um, you can kind of see it is no longer. Everything was cut out. All the countertops, thank God, were saved. The homeowner. Uh, requested that we try our best to save the countertops and we actually able to save every countertop inside of this entire house. Um, the fridge, fortunately I think the motor's on top. It's a $20,000 fridge, we were able to save that too. We're getting uh, more equipment from a house that we're actually just finishing right now. We just got the relative humidity to the point that we need it to be and we're going to move that equipment to this property and uh, we're done for the day. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.